Okay, well, you've come back, so you must want to know the secret. So I've got my pen, and I've got my little uh, post-it note here. And basically what I want to do is, is uh, I'm going to draw, you know, the satellite dishes over here, which I'm just going to draw as like a sideways T, because that's, that's kind of just, um, you know, the push bar. And then I, I have the base here, okay? So basically what I want the robot to do is to come out of the base, boom, like that, okay? And then, and then turn and go this way here. Okay, so, so basically I have two things that I want to do. Come out of base, stop, turn, and then go forward to push it just enough so that it's straight. So really I have three measurements here. The go forward, the turn measurement, and the other go forward command. We'll worry about backing it up uh, later on. Okay, so let's just first accomplish the mission, uh, what we want it to do. So now the secret that I'm going to show you, and now these screens, I'm going to give it to you. These screens are kind of hard to see what's going on inside of a robot screen, uh, but let's, let's try our best here. So I'm on the first screen, which we normally are using all the time to find our program, but I'm going to go over to the third screen. So there's uh, number two, there's number three, and uh, the very top choice is called port view, and that's what I want to do is port view. Boom. And then I want to go, right now it's, it's measuring off the, whatever this is, the number one port, because I can see it right there, it's connected to number one and there's nothing plugged into it. Um, and I want to go up, which now I'm in the A port, and I want to go over, so now I'm measuring the B port. So I'm actually measuring this tire here. So if I turn this tire, do you see those numbers are changing? 190, 284, it's measuring degrees by me turning that tire. Okay, so I can see the degrees measured in there. So now watch. Watch what I'm going to do here. So, um, okay, so me, and the only way to clear it, unfortunately, I wish there was just a clear button, is you've got to back out of it again, then go back into port view, go up, go over. So now it's at zero, and I'm measuring this motor right here. Now watch what I'm about to do. Prepare to have your mind blown. Okay, very important. When you put the robot in its starting place, it needs to be in exactly the same starting place all the time. So I need to pull off this this uh, lawnmower attachment to the back of Scrappy here because it's running into the wall. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, so we got the lawnmower off. Okay, so now, and I'm gonna fold this up because this needs to be out of the way for this example here. So I take my base robot and I line up the tires there and then I line up my, the, that little marble, that steel marble that's in the back of the robot. I put it on top of the little red dot here. You need to start exactly in the same place every time because if I start like, and it's facing just slightly this way, then it's gonna miss its target there. If it's facing slightly more this way, it's gonna miss the target again. So that's why I've gotta start exactly in the same place every time. Okay, so I'm in the same place, it's zero. Now watch this, I'm gonna just hold onto my robot and gently push him, but still firmly, and I'm seeing the degrees go up here until I feel like I am pretty close to where I need to turn, which I think is right there. Okay, so, it says on my screen 660, so I'm just going to put that 660. When you measure, it might be different, okay? So don't go off my measurements, you go off your measurements, but I see that it's 660 degrees, okay? And I've not moved my robot, it's there. Now I'm going to switch my sensor over because I'm going to use just the C motor on this side and I'm going to turn just the C motor to determine how much how much of a turn I need, okay? So let me just back out of this again, go back into port view, go up, over, over, till I get the C motor. I'm gonna hold on to this side here so it doesn't rotate, and I'm just going to turn just the C motor until I feel like it's straight. Okay, that looks, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so, so I'm gonna say, up here, I'm gonna say just the C motor, and it is 193 degrees. Okay, so forward 660 degrees, I'm gonna put a little degree there, and then C motor 193 degree turn, okay. Then, I'm gonna clear this out again, do, 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 port view, and I go up, and I'm gonna pick, when, you, when you're measuring just straight distances, you can measure off the B or the C motor because they, they're gonna turn exactly the same amount, so it doesn't matter, okay. Okay, so let's just pretend this is gonna stay out of the way, so I'm gonna probably hit it with my sensor here because this is scrappy, Yours might have a bar in front of it, so you measure whatever you're gonna have. I just have all my old stuff on here from Scrappy. So I'm gonna go forward, 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 hit it, start pushing, 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 until I feel like this red bar 
is straight up and down, okay? So that red bar is straight up and down, and it says 401 degrees. 401 degrees forward, okay? Now I need to back it all up, and I'm just going to send it back. This is my return back. So I might as well go and get that measurement too. So go into port view, up and over to get just the B motor here. And I'm just going to bring it back to here, which um, it looks like 989 degrees on a slight angle. So 989 degrees. Okay. So the forward turn, forward, hit the target, and then just come back 989 degrees. I'm going to show you how to put that gradual turn on it there so that we get this to work. Okay. So you need these measurements. Don't go off of mine because everything could be different, especially if you had different size tires. It's going to be different degrees than mine. So go ahead, get a piece of paper, get a pencil, uh, from your notebooks, from your backpack or whatever, and get these measurements and it's going to save your life. Especially, don't, don't copy mine because you need to learn how to do this for all the other missions here. You need to have these exact measurements or you're just going to be always guessing and being really frustrated with it. This is how NASA works, people. Math. That time in math class they warned you about, it is here. We're going to go uh, come back in the next video because we're going to open up the app. We're going to program it in really quick and then we're going to see if this is going to work. Oh, make sure to reset this after every run so that you get a good clean run every time. Okay, see you in the next video and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the programming.